With the test project OpenSDK, you can develop and execute your web, Android, and iOS tests more easily than ever. The SDKs utilize the test project agent as a single component to develop and execute tests for web, iOS, and Android apps. The agent takes care of all management, including downloading the latest web drivers and mobile components to keep you up to date. While working with the OpenSDK, you'll be using the standard Selenium and Appium commands to get the benefits of automatic cloud reports in HTML or PDF format made for you by the agent. You don't need to work hard anymore on your test automation reporting or collaboration. Most importantly, you don't have to upload anything to test project. Everything can be done in your local development environment. To use any of the test project open SDKs, you'll need to have a test project agent installed, registered, and running on your current machine. To get an agent, you can simply head to the Agents tab and then download your agent to your preferred operating system. Once you download an agent and install it, you can then again register it from the Agent section. We'll be discussing the test project Java Open SDK. To get started with it, simply head over to the Integration section. From here, you can get your developer token and the Java Open SDK. Simply head into the link to get either the Maven or Gradle dependency. Let's go over a Java SDK example by exporting one of our recorded tests into code. To export a recorded test into code, simply select the More option, Generated Code, then select which programming language you'd like. I'll select Java, and which kind of browser or driver you'd like. Let's go with Chrome. Let's download. and open the file in our IDE. After opening the project, we can see that the built Gradle file already has the test project SDK and JUnit testing dependencies. As we can see in the generated test, the driver is coming from the test project dependency instead of the Selenium one. We should also take note of the driver construction. As we can see, we're passing our developer token into the driver. You can include this in your driver constructor, or you can include it in an environment variable called tp underscore dev underscore token to avoid having to place it in every driver constructor. We can also specify the project name where the report is going to be saved on the test project platform. Your test reports will be automatically generated for you and uploaded to the test project platform. The reports will contain all your driver commands. In addition, you can also freely control the reporting behavior by yourself. For example, you can completely disable reports by using the following command. You can also add in your own manual reporting. You can also set the screenshot behavior and the step to pass or fail. There are many different ways where you can take reporting to your own hands. Before we run the test, Let's purposely fail the last step so we can get a sense of what a failed test report looks like. Let's change this validation to search for text that does not exist. Now let's run the test. The agent will get and use the correct driver for our browser and its version.
and as we can see, the test failed as expected. Once we head over to the test project platform, we can see that the report was generated for us here. You can find it in the report section, where specified in your driver constructor. Here, we can see it was saved in a project named Java, just like I specified in the code. Then here, we can see each step in the test, including our manually reported step and a screenshot. And at the bottom of the step list, we can also see our failed assertion being reported as well. Once here, you can also generate a full or summary PDF report of this test. The PDF report will contain all our screenshots as well. In addition to the PDF reports, you'll also be able to view velocity reports and statistics, making team collaboration much simpler. With the same SDK, you can also create mobile tests. Your local test project agent will take care of setting up the Appium server for you. You can even test iOS on Windows. Just make sure that the driver is coming from the test project dependency instead of the Appium one.